Hello guys, it's Anjay here and welcome back to a new video and finally a new PC build video and that too with latest Intel's 12th generation processors and not just any processor but the Core i9-12900K. This is one of the biggest leaps when it comes to processors for Intel and is definitely top of the line when it comes to performance. We'll talk about the performance part in the later part of this video but the processor looks different right that's because it uses the new chipset new form factors and that's why we have the z690 motherboards now obviously you must have heard ddr5 has launched with z690 motherboards and the aorus extreme motherboard that i have here supports ddr5 but if you're wondering what if i have a ddr4 ram then yes aorus also launched z690 i aorus ultra ddr4 motherboards which support ddr4 memory now should you go for DDR5 or DDR4 obviously it depends on budget because DDR5 RAMs are slightly costlier right now if you want the latest and best of the best then DDR5 is the way to go forward but it is very nice to know that you do have DDR4 option if you're limited on budget now the Z690 Aorus Extreme motherboard which we are unboxing right now as on the screen has ton of features literally this motherboard comes with direct 20 plus 1 plus 2 phases digital VRM design which means that the power supply to the processor is going to be well regulated and it's not going to be an issue even if you use the i9 processor at its maximum peak it comes with DDR5 extreme memory design fins array uh, heatsink which means that the VRMs are going to stay cool M.2 thermal guard is all, already present you need to open this part up and then you will get the M, uh, get to the M.2 part Intel Thunderbolt 4 support is present here which is one of my favorites you also get Wi-Fi 6 E support 6e is the latest one and 10 gbps lan is obviously present so as i said best of the best features are present on this particular motherboard you do not need to worry about anything if you're planning to buy the i9 12900k then i feel like this is the motherboard to go for now this is the core i9 12900k intel alder lake cpus uh, including the i9 12900k uses something called as hybrid core architecture alder lake has p cores which are performance cores and e cores which are efficient cores now these p cores are similar to the ones we know from earlier generations like uh, the 10th generation or 11th or 9th generation processors now i9 12900k has 8 p cores which will do the all heavy tasks and will be the key cores when it comes to heavy tasks like editing or gaming and most importantly gaming obviously now core i9 12900k can reach to 5.2 gigahertz which means amazing single threaded performance and it also has huge improvement from the large generation when it comes to multi-threaded performance as well and if you are someone who wants to build a pc with pcie 5.0 support which is the technology which we will use in the future graphic cards then this is the processor to go for and i forgot to mention that z690 aorus extreme motherboard also supports pcie 5.0 I do not really have anything to test it right now because it's such a futuristic technology that we do not have anything anything which can utilize PCI 5.0 right now like graphic cards or SSDs but overall it's going to be fun to use it in the future. Now this is how the SATA SSD look and I am personally not going to use the SATA SSD in this particular PC build. Let's go with the PCI Gen 4 SSD that we have here because it's going to be the best. We had the option to install the SATA SSD but we realized we do not really need that much space in this so we only installed the PCI PCI Gen 4 SSD here and uh, we are expecting one of the best performances let's go with that now everything is installed inside the case itself now Aorus X360 water force cooler is the one which we are going to use now it has LCD screen which can be customized it doesn't contribute when it comes to cooling but it is fancy to use and uh, I, I personally I'm a fan of this actually uh, water coolers with LCD designs so that you can customize it you can have any gif someone dancing your own photo your processor anything that you want and it can be customized to your requirement but when it comes to cooling that's the most important part I feel when it comes to core and 912900k because it is a power hungry processor it consumes a lot of power and when you consume a lot of power it is going to generate a lot of heat and you are going to need a cooler which is sufficient enough for the i9 240 millimeter i feel is the minimum that you should go for 360 mm cooler will be the best in my opinion so that's why we are using the aorus x360 water force cooler here and attaching the cooler was a simple task now lga 1700 which is the new socket that uh, intel has started using was working super fine with this one uh, we had all the attachments inside the box itself so no issues over there as well now when it comes to gpu we are going to use the rtx 3070 ti ray tracing performance and everything is going to be tested 
interested we did test few games with ray tracing support we'll talk about that in the later part of this video but processor ram gpu everything is installed now it's time to install windows and we are not installing windows 10 we are going to install windows 11 because everything is windows 11 ready and these processors perform the best when you have windows 11 according to reports so we are going to do that and let's see how the gaming performance is and uh, enjoy the benchmarks Now one thing that I should have talked about earlier is how cool the case is. We have this Cougar case which looks fantastic. I mean it is completely an open case so managing cables and everything was a little bit difficult from the back side because uh, you have to manage them properly so that they, uh, they can be hidden. And it is possible to hide these cables which I tried my best to. If I had spent another couple of hours then I may have done even better job. But for now, even without the best cable management, the case looks amazing. It was futuristic. Anyone who came to my house while I was building this PC and after I built this PC was like, oh my God, this is something which looks from the future. And I guess that's it for this particular video. Overall, the Core i9-12900K performed excellent. Let it be gaming, let it be video editing, let it be day-to-day -day life tasks. It performed exceptionally well. So as I said earlier, this is a generational leap and Intel is back into the game with a huge bang. If you are looking for the best of the best, this is the processor to go for. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you still have not subscribed to the channel yet, don't forget to subscribe because many more awesome videos like this are going to come real soon on the channel. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.